complete misunderstanding about what even you know the basic religious festivals are all about. Right. They think Christmas is a, is a time for lining up at uh, KFC to get um, you know roasted chicken, right. you know, um, because that's what media tells them. Yeah. That's what they understand. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Wow. You know, so um, we need our DNA. Yeah, so look, in that way, it's so easy to, to be able to just share. discuss and share. Yeah. People who have never heard about it before, mm -hmm. they don't have misconceptions, and yeah. misunderstandings. Mm -hmm. um, it's an open rat field. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Wow. Because it's a culture they want to delve into mm -hmm. and find out more about. Yeah. Um, they're open to hearing about all the ideas and things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Yeah. This is quite exciting and uh, enlightening to us as mm -hmm. well. Uh, wow. Uh, uh, Pastor Jim, talking about the born again experience, a lot of people talk about born again Christian, born again believer. Yep. So, what does that term refer to, and then wow. how does one become born again? Yeah, yeah, that's a really, really good question. Mm -hmm. um, look, to basically keep um, the whole story in a nutshell, which I'll come back to in a minute. Basically, being born again is simply it simply means allowing Jesus to be your Lord and Savior. And accepting the price that he is paid, mm. you know, not by what we do, yes. not by what we can do or anything like that, but accepting the price that he's already paid by dying on the cross to bring us back into relationship with God. But look, basically the term came from um, something in the Bible, from uh, John chapter 3. So if we have a look at it, Jesus was teaching, uh, uh, talking to a teacher called Nicodemus. Uh, and it says, now there was a Pharisee and a man named Nicodemus who was a member of the Jewish council, ruling council. He came to Jesus at night and said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can perform the signs you are doing if God were not with him. Mm. Jesus replied, very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. This is where the term comes from. Mm. How can someone be born again when they're already old, Nicodemus asked. Surely they cannot enter a second time into their mother's womb to be born. Jesus answered, Very truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of water and the Spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the Spirit gives birth to Spirit. You should not be surprised at my saying you must be born again. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it's going. So it is with everyone who's born of the Spirit. How can this be? He said, you are Israel's teacher, he said, Jesus said. You do not understand these things? Very truly I tell you. We speak of what we know, and we testify to what we have seen. But you, but still, you people do not accept our testimony. I've spoken to you about earthly things, and you do not believe. How then will you speak of heavenly things? Okay, so I'll just go down a bit. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already. So we're already start at a position of we're already mm -hmm. condemned. Yeah? Um, you know, he's already paid the price so that we don't have to be in that situation. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, so, basically, this is the verdict. Light has come into the world, but people love the darkness instead of the light mm. because of their deeds being evil. Mm. So everyone who does evil hates the light and will not come into the light for fear of their deeds will be exposed. But whoever lives in the truth comes into the light so that it may be seen plainly that what they have done has been done in the sight of God. So, I guess, you know... The, one of the natural things we see in Genesis is that people want to hide Adam and Eve after they sinned. Mm. They felt shame. Mm. So the, the, the result, the cause of sin, is one of shame and regret and wanting to hide and not wanting to be exposed. But Jesus has already paid for it all. He, and that means allowing God in to those areas and coming back into relationship. He already knows. Mm. He sees everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't hide from God. <laughs> But he gives us the luxury of walking into the Garden of Eden and saying, where are you? He calls you. You know? And he does that for all of us today too. He says, where are you? I love you. Mm. Come back to me. Mm. I know what you've done, but I'm going to ask you anyway, you know. Let, you know, come into relationships, ask for my forgiveness. It's there. It's free. It's a gift. You know? I've already paid the price for mm. the world. You know, if you think that what you've done 
is greater than my ability to forgive you, then mm. you know, you're saying that I'm not powerful. I'm so powerful that I've paid for every single thing and yet no one sin can be too bad not to be able to be forgiven by God. You know? And and sometimes people have to come to that point of going, you know, my shame for for whatever it is that, you know, has been in my life, I've got to give that up. You know, because God accepts me and loves me for who I am. He's already seen me. Mm. I can't hide from him. Mm. Wow. I think at, at this point in time, we want to play some, uh, uh, just to, you know, portray what the Pastor A.J. is giving the saying. And then, mm. I guess we, you know, the program is Pastor uh, Eugene, and then this is Eugene Gilbert, but we're going to play this song right now. When they cursed, when they lost, 